What is up, YouTube? This is going to be a rather short one, but I just had to make a video on this. Because in all of my years as a photographer, and while watching hundreds of videos of people editing in Lightroom, I have not seen a single person use this feature in Adobe Lightroom. In fact, even I found out about this just yesterday. And I gotta give credit where credit is due because the reason I found out about this is because one of my subscribers actually told me. Which, if I may take a second to point this out, feels super surreal to say because I've just started this whole YouTube journey roughly three weeks ago and I actually hit a hundred subscribers yesterday. And that's an absolute win in my book, I have to say. So thank you so much to everyone who subscribed to my channel during the last couple of days. I really, really appreciate it. And I'm really thankful for all the nice comments I've gotten so far. And I wanna give a special shout out to Barry Sashay. I hope I didn't butcher that too much. Uh, but Barry is the guy that actually commented on one of my videos that this was actually possible and this is the reason that I'm making this video right now. So let's jump right into it. Now what is it that I am making all this fuss about? What Barry made me aware of in his comment is that you are actually able to rearrange the order of the different panels in the Lightroom develop module. Now let's jump into Lightroom. As you can see, I'm already in the develop module. And if you right click on any of the different panels inside of the develop module, you are going to get this drop down menu. And the first option is going to read customize develop panel. Now, if you hit that option, you are going to get a pop up window that is going to let you completely rearrange the order of all the panels inside of the develop module. You could even hide different panels if you're not ever using them, for example. So once you're done rearranging everything to what best fits your workflow, you are going to hit save and then Lightroom is going to ask you to relaunch. And upon relaunching, everything inside the develop module is going to be in the exact order that you picked. How is it possible that I have literally not seen a single person use this. Out of all the photographers that I have seen editing images in person and all the people that I have seen editing images in Lightroom on YouTube, I have never seen a single person that had a different customized order of their panels in Adobe Lightroom. Now, one has to say that the default arrangement of the panels in Lightroom does make a lot of sense right out of the box when it comes to a streamlined editing workflow. So you can work through them really nice from top to bottom. But the more experience you get with using Lightroom, you are going to find that there are a lot of roads that lead to Rome. And you might start your editing workflow at a different point than what the default arrangement might suggest or that you are going to use the different panels in a different order than the basic arrangement might suggest. So for me, for example, whenever I'm editing, my first step is always setting my profile to the camera neutral profile. But from here, I always go straight down to the camera calibration panel. So for me, it makes a lot of sense to take the camera calibration panel and drag it right up top because this is where I always start my editing workflow on every single picture. And then after I'm done in the calibration panel, I usually go straight down to the tone curve to set my contrast. Now, before I do this, I often decrease the contrast in the basic panel by roughly 25 to 50, depending on the image, and then go straight down to the tone curve to set my contrast in colors. But what this means is that for me, it does make sense to have the tone curve right below the calibration panel up top because for most of my images, I actually do 80 to 85% of my whole editing inside those two panels, the calibration panel and the tone curve. And then the rest of the edit basically is just stuff like sharpening, cropping, or maybe adding some grain. 
So for me, actually being able to rearrange the order of the panels inside of the develop module just makes my Lightroom workflow that much more convenient. I honestly don't know if I'm making this bigger than it actually is. And that the reason that I've literally never seen a single person use this feature is because people just don't feel the need to rearrange the panels in Lightroom. But like I said, for me, this just makes my workflow or editing in Lightroom that much more convenient. And if you're doing something over and over and over again, I really enjoy these little quality of life changes that make things just that much more tailored to your needs. So I'm very glad that I was told about this. Thank you again, Barry. And I now hope that some of you guys are going to be glad that I told you about this. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.